Hi guys, today I'm going to experiment with a different way of creating a watercolour effect. I was inspired by some bloggers who I'll link below who did watercolour manis using the OPI Sheer Tints collection. I liked the look but didn't have the polishes so I thought I'd try doing a DIY version. Start with a white base and either a cheap clear polish or a base coat that you don't like as you may end up tainting it with colour later on. Don't use quick dry top coat because it dries too fast. Add to that your colours. I chose four and then you'll need either a white palette or a piece of paper with tape over the top. Put a few drops of the clear polish on the paper, add a tiny bit of colour and mix. You can make it really pale or quite strong, it's your choice. Luckily the orange tint in the base coat that I'm using didn't affect the colours at all. Create diagonal sections and curves, remembering to randomise where you place the colours on each nail. Apply with the brush from the bottle of clear polish. It gives you much more control than the nail art brush does. I'm just doing four nails today to show you the tutorial. Then clean the brush off on a tissue before you put it back in the bottle and wait a couple of minutes between each colour for the polish to set. Next up the yellow. Turns out mixing it with a nail art brush created lots of bubbles so I switched to a dotting tool. Deliberately overlap some of the colours to create new ones and continue with the rest of your polishes. As you can see, this is way less messy than using a sponge and allows you to build up the colours to whatever strength you like. Honestly, I wasn't happy with how it looked. The purple was too dark and the middle finger was a fail. So to soften and blend the colours together, I made a fresh batch of yellow and painted two thin layers over my nails. And it worked pretty well, it looked much better in the end. I did try doing this with a mixture of white and clear, but that looked terrible, so definitely go with the yellow. Wait a few minutes, finish with a quick dry top coat, and that's it, you're done. Check out the original blog post that inspired me below, and as always, thank you for watching. Bye.